This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed visual artist and model, Olga Proskuryakova, but she said I could call her Olga Pro. Hello, Olga, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, like, I'm like, wow, I'm impressed. You're correct, absolutely correct, pronounce my name. Like, it's so good, yeah. <laughs> you know, with a last name like Nunziata, I, you know, if I, my whole life I wanted people to try to get it right. So I'm very, I take that, I try to, you know, a person's name is their name. So I want to try to do right by it. But thank you, Olga. Um, but listen, yeah. I thank you for inviting me. Thank you. <laughs> are you kidding me, Olga? You are, you're a Renaissance woman. You do it all. <laughs> I love that you wear like, it's like you're like Batman and Robin. Like you have these two different hats, you know, night and yep. day. First, yeah. talk about how you became a, a visual artist. You're, you're an acclaimed visual artist how you came about it and what you love most about it, about doing what you do. Mm -hmm. Like artist, it's, um, it's like, it's something in my mind, art, creed, it's something in my mind, seriously. And um, uh, I, I, I don't remember exactly day, year when I like, okay, I'm artist, I can't do it. It's something you like, you are born with it. I believe, I believe of this theory when people, you know, when people do something and you just, you just feel this is you. And uh, when I was like, I don't know, seven, eight years old, I always paint something, but it was like, you know, like a kid's painting. And um, I went to the ba ballet school in Russia and I spent about eight years of my life for, you know, for hard exercise. Ballet in Russia, it's like, it's not fun. <laughs> and then, you know, after, uh, after all my, you know, experience with culture, uh, you know, ballet culture is not just, you know, uh, exert. it's like, seriously, it's classic music, you know, it's beautiful costume and everything. So in my mind, always like, okay, I would like to do something more and more and more. I was like very active kid and I still active person. And maybe, maybe 2012, 2012, I finally stopped after all my traveling uh, from modeling career in Russia. I stuck at my apartment and like, damn, wait a minute. Probably it's the best moment of my life to concentrate for something new. And I went to, you know, art store, art supply, buy everything. And I just, you know, and I practice, practice, practice. And then I find some artist who helped me and teach me, you know, like a private lessons. And yeah, it's something, it's something like that. And then I moved to the United States and ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I love that. But see, this is what I love so much about your journey, Olga, is that I think <laughs> it's the journey that a lot of artists go on, but they begin <laughs> with one discipline, but then the, yeah. there's something within them. It's almost like their childlike sensibility at <laughs> some point in their adult life gets sparked. And obviously yours yeah. was sparked and here you are. And by the way, are those some of your works behind you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, that one is absolutely new. It's like a abstract. Wait, and... can I try and guess what it is? Yeah, sure. It's okay, so what I see yeah. are two people clinging to each other in emotional distress, but as two individuals who may be distressed, as a collective, yep. they're at ease. Wow, I love your, I love it. It's true, it's this emotion, you know? But isn't this so great, Olga, as an artist, when you have people like give their interpretation? Because this is what you do, Olga. As yeah. a visual artist, you're able to activate people's imaginations and their emotions. Exactly, this is psychology test all the time. When my friends come into my apartment and they see my new art, and I tested, okay, which mood you are right now? What do you <laughs> think? Like, seriously. And it's like incredible. In other art, it's this one. So it's like totally abstract. Wait, can I guess? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. I know. We are like, well, I am not inviting you to my apartment in Miami. I get uh -huh. so excited. Oh my <laughs> God. I see, I see a face. I see a person. I see, I feel like we're in someone's mind, like their memory and they're going into their, like you see the face and it's kind of like they're there, but they're remembering mm -hmm. a past life. That's what I'm seeing it as. 
Wow, it's so good. Uh, actually, uh, my name for this art, it's time. Timing, you know, timing and infinity. So I made it in, in a pandemic time when everyone's stuck at home and they, they you know, they're stuck in the, in the thoughts about life and everything. So, but at the same point, some of my friends, they look this art and they're like, I see the boobies. <laughs> Where? Seriously? Yeah, it's a boobies. They're like, okay. But you know yeah. what? We're, you know what I think, Olga? We're all going through a trauma and maybe they're going through a booby phase. I don't know. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But it's a definitely like a trick uh, with your mind. What's happened and like literally me, you know, like I, every morning I wake up in a different mood and like, okay, hmm, I, I see something different always, all the time. It's good. Well, Olga, this is what I love about your art. And obviously you're an amazing model as well. You know, but what I love so much about what you do is in joining Phoenix is that what you do in both modeling and visual art is that you are creating a language that's actually very universal. You know, people love models and they love the way that they are able to express whatever their, you know, whether it's a brand or, you know, a certain mm -hmm. product or, or an emotion. But as a visual artist, you're creating a, a language that is understood by anyone everywhere. Yeah, and what I really like from art, you know, we are somehow we are, you know, we have a short life. I mean, short, I mean, I don't know, like 80, 90, 100 years, but somehow after me, I keep something in this world. And this is make me smile. This is like, seriously, you know, make something special in my mind about like, okay, if it's not me, but I made something for people and people enjoy it. So that's why when I just start paying, you know, I not, you know, I not just to sell art, just to sell to make money. I sometimes I give it my art for, you know, for my friends, because I like the feeling when my art uh, leave, you know, they have a life in different places with different people. This is me. Your legacy, life. your legacy, little pieces of Olga are being shared with the world forever. And that's what, you know, and yeah. I think in Olga, it's interesting. Look, at we're both young people of the planet, right? We're not 90, even yeah. though, some, even though my mind, I think I'm 90, yeah. but whatever, that's for me and my therapist. But <laughs> Olga, what I love so much is that so many people throughout these past 18 months have been thinking about legacy. You know, what we're going to leave behind and the fact that you get to leave behind these beautiful pieces of art that are going to be interpreted for years and tens of years and hundreds of years to come. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. we like, you know what, the photography and art, modeling and art, we it's the both industry create a memory for yes. some reason. That's what that's that's why probably I feel in good in both of this industry, seriously, because with art, sometimes I create art with my friends. They just come in and we do something together and I just give it to them or I keep it in my place. And it's a memory about the moment when we are together. And the same about, you know, photography where, you know, create a moment. So it's good, seriously. Olga, I could speak with you forever. You're absolutely incredible. Listen, I wanna let our audience know for more on the amazing Olga Pro. Should I can yeah. call Olga Pro? But I'm saying, Olga Prosqui. Proskuriakova. See, I wow. did it wrong the first time and I should have just... No, you do your best, seriously. I, I'm like, I'm impressed because most of my American friends are like, we can't, we can't. Proskuria or Mama. <laughs> you know, so to... I hate people who do that. You know what? It's your name. It's so gorgeous. Proskuriakova. Proskuriakova. Wow. Proskuriakova. Wow. Um, I'm going to like... You should run for president now. Okay. Olga, <laughs> for more on the amazing Olga, you can read more about it right below this video. Olga, God bless you. I'm so excited you're joining Phoenix. I'm so excited, you know, that for your time, but I'm also so excited, Olga, that we're connected now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you seriously for invitation. And I believe at this time, especially, you know, at 2022 next year, um, everything in the, you know, new world, we live in a digital world, seriously, yes. right? And Phoenix, it's a kind of new reality. Seriously, we we will be in new reality or not. So I prefer to be 
there. <laughs> Olga, we speak the same language. I love it so much. And again, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing.